I'm Dr. Latoya Linton-Frazier, I'm a staff cardiac electrophysiologist here at Mon General. Atrial fibrillation is perhaps the most common abnormal rhythm that we treat. We get a lot of referrals for patients with palpitations, sometimes chest discomfort, shortness of breath, and sometimes the patients won't have any symptoms. The abnormal rhythm can be incidentally found on an EKG. And it's at that time that those patients are referred to us to help get them out of the rhythm one to either improve their symptoms and almost as important is to reduce their risk of having a stroke. So what we typically do is target the mouth of the pulmonary vein so that we can make a scar. And so there are two approaches. You can either do what's called radiofrequency, which is a point-by-point -point burning, quote-unquote, technique, or cryoablation, where you deliver a cold source. And what that does is it removes heat from the tissue. In essence, you still get a scar formation, but I find that it's more uniform. And so it's sort of like being in New York in winter and you put your tongue against the, the lamp post and it gets stuck there, that's exactly what this technique does. It adheres to the tissue, you get a good uniform freeze, and the whole idea is to form enough of a scar such that the impulses from the veins won't affect the top chamber of the heart, the left atrium. There are things that, as, as, as patients, we can help to control. Obesity is linked to atrial fibrillation. Obstructive sleep apnea is linked to atrial fibrillation. Poorly controlled blood pressures, inactivity, things like that. So those are obvious things that we can control. Certainly we can't control our genetics. So we already have a mark against us, but the things that we can control, we should.